Good morning. My name is Frances, and I'm a seventh grade student at St. Michael's and Student Council Commissioner of Liturgy and Worship. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph of Leonissa was born in the kingdom of Naples in the year 1556. He was known for his austerity of life and single-minded commitment to preaching. Arrested while taking care of Christian galley slaves, he was sent to prison and warned to change his ways. However, St. Joseph returned to his former behavior and was re-arrested and then condemned to die. Miraculously, he escaped, however, and continued a life of preaching. St. Joseph of Leonissa, pray for us. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Messiah to them. The crowds with one accord listened eagerly to what was said by Philip, hearing and seeing the signs that he did. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet the Spirit had not come upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Pray today that the Holy Spirit fills you with wisdom and understanding. Please join me in the year of St. Joseph prayer. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions and having implored the help of your most holy spouse. We confidently invoke your patronage also through the charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contingent of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. For our protection and especially for military and police forces, let us now pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh
have birthdays today. On this day in history in 2004, Mark Zuckerberg launches Facebook from his Harvard dorm room. The quote of the day is by Shaquille O'Neal. Excellence is not a singular act, but a habit. You are what you do repeatedly. Have a thunderous Thursday. This is Reagan. Go Crusaders.